on this. <laughs> Dude, I'm joking. I don't know if this I'm is... joking, but actually do it. Everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new to this channel, my name's Bee, and with my partner Theo, we live in this van full time. It's a sprinter van that we converted last year, and at the moment, we're on our off grid homestead in Portugal where we're currently converting, well, building from the ground up an outhouse which is going to house our composting toilet and a little shower. It's very nice, we've been working on that today. I can't wait to show you what we've done. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to Squarespace who have sponsored today's video. I'll talk more about that at the end. Okay guys, it's super windy outside so we've brought it inside and it may look a bit mad right now but this is actually going to be the steps to get up to the cabin Schuyler outhouse build. It's really weird because it's a beautiful day outside, like perfect sunshine, no clouds, but the wind is like a blizzard. It's crazy. It's a good test for the Schuyler. Yeah. It has not blown over. A lot of you guys <laughs> thought it was going to blow over. And if it can stand up in conditions like this, I'm pretty happy. And another thing I'd like to say is the steps along with absolutely everything else that we've done in this entire build is something we've never done before. So we're basically just kind of watched a whole load of YouTube videos, haven't we? And exactly. we're just kind of figuring out as we go along. It's just a, it's like a miniature staircase. Uh, I've done it at a 30 degree angle because I wanted it to be nice and subtle walking up to the toilet door because you don't want it like you're going up a ladder to go to the toilet, do you? So I've made it a nice a nice angle. So right now we're just putting the braces in the top and the bottom of the frame and then we can start putting the step supports in. Firstly, we levelled out exactly where the steps were resting to ensure a stable surface. We then added supportive blocks to the inside of the frame where each step would be. Measuring a height of 7 inches between each step allowed a suitable height for climbing the stairs. So we literally just stopped work for one second because Gingy has climbed onto the door. She loves climbing doors, it's her thing. She's come to inspect. It passed her further tests. Yes, you got yourself up there, you can get down. Jump on my shoulder if you want. <laughs> Next we attached pieces of wood to the underside of each step for extra stability and aesthetics. The steps rest on top of the supportive beams and are then secured by creating a pilot hole before screwing them to the staircase. The process is repeated for each step. So the second from last step is going on, which is exciting. The staircase looks amazing, so much better than we thought it was gonna look because we added them down bits. So it looks like a full on solid staircase, which is amazing. Very, very happy. We have in fact run out of wood, so we can't finish the first step, which is actually the last step that we're putting on. We kind of worked backwards because we wanted the perfect step into the cabin. And it's great, I can't wait to try it out in a minute. A 
Okay, so all of the steps are in that we have the wood for, and Theo's gonna test it out. It's gonna trip up the stairs first time using them. <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked! We made it. it looks incredible. So right now I'm just sitting on my new staircase to my toilet cabin outhouse thingamajig that we have created. I'm so stoked, it looks amazing. And the gradient's really nice, like it's not, it's not too steep. We didn't want it too steep, but we didn't want it to look like a ramp. So a 30 degree gradient worked out really nicely actually. Super stoked of it. We just got one more step to do, but I need to head back to the city to get the wood for that. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. So now we've done the steps, I'm gonna move on to the partition wall for the shower inside our Shoilet outhouse build to everyone else. But basically, you might be wondering, why have you left this open? And the reason for that being is we actually ran out of cladding, so I've ordered some cladding. We have to drive at least an hour to the wood yard to get the cladding, so we, we have to kind of prioritize other jobs before we go off and do that. We try and combine trips with something else that we need in the city. So where I'm standing right now is exactly where the bathroom section is going to be. So we're going to have the composting toilet, the little wash stand areas to keep towels and stuff like that. And Theo is just measuring out on the floor exactly where the partition wall is going to go so we can have a lovely and spacious walk-in shower. 186 centimetres. So basically I'm going to build this uh, kind of stud wall the same as I built all of the walls for this cabin, so I've already done that, so it should be fairly straightforward. I'm gonna use thinner wood, so it's five by five centimeters, but it should be perfect. So we've cut the top and the bottom beams for the partition wall. Now we just need to measure the height that it's gonna be going up, so. We need to take the width of those into account before we do the actual wall measurement, but they'll be going up there. 10 centimetres, so take 10 centimetres off. And we'll probably, I think I built the wall about seven foot. These are loads of offcuts that we have from the cladding. I really want to do something with them. Some of them will be perfect for shingles, other may be good for firewood, but yeah, we'll do something with these offcuts. Anyone's got any recommendations, holler at me. Theo's made the most out of the shingles here by creating a little stump to lean his wood on when he cuts it, which is uh, very rustic indeed. <laughs> So we've roughly put in the partition frame with dividers. So up here, this is the entrance way to the shower. It's massive. Nice and spacious. It's crazy <laughs> how putting up just a little stud wall changes the whole environment inside here. It feels like a proper place now, a proper room with different areas. So I need to just mark off exactly where they're all going and then Theo can screw them in. So to make life easier, we actually just put the frame flat on the ground in the cabin and they're going to assemble it all in here and then lift it up at the end and it'll be done, in theory. But we actually don't have that many screws. Usually we think ahead and we're very planned, but we only bought a pack of 50 of these, which was a complete mistake because we have about, I don't know, 10 left. Luckily, we're going to the city later tonight because we need to get more wood for the stairs. So. If we don't have enough screws, we can always buy some more. So we live life on the edge, guys. You know, I just said we're gonna run out of screws. We've actually got the perfect amount! <laughs> Moment of truth. 
Struth. Oh, oh my gosh, I nearly fell out the door. <laughs> Goes up. Okay, now can you do the, the strength test and do a pull up from that? On this? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know if this I'm is... joking, but actually do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, my life flashes for my eyes. <laughs> Theo's just securing the frame to the actual frame of the cabin now, so it's nice and secure and won't come flying towards me again. <laughs> screws are you using because that took a hell of a long time 100 millers that makes sense then. it's not going nowhere because as you guys know we ran out of the other screws <laughs> i saw a thing the other day where every time a man ties something to a roof of a car <laughs> he has to shake it and go that's not going anywhere and i find myself doing it it's really weird go on say it it's not going anywhere so it's another incredibly windy day, but we've just got back from the wood yard collecting more cladding for the back so we can finish the barn up and also a load of wood for the partition wall so we can clad that today and we absolutely love it. We basically wanted to go for a pallet style theme and this makes it a lot easier than having to actually break up pallets, find pallets, get them here. We got this wood from our wood guy and we can't wait to clad the wall in it. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy So we've cut our load to size and we're starting to put them in First one is not a totally straight one because it has to meet up to the top so we just notched the edge out there and now it's been clamped on and they're screwing it in. Just the first one to be annoying. I know, we were like, <laughs> oh, it's just simple straight. No, got to cut a notch out. <laughs> if there's one thing I recommend buying, it's clamps. They make life a hell of a lot easier. Even when you're filming and doing it in a really awkward angle, they're just brilliant. <laughs> There's no way she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know Okay guys, so the wall is in! Oh my gosh, it's a beauty! And uh, we're about to put some side pieces in here We had to notch the top bit out ever so slightly, but oh, a nice rustic looking shower. <laughs> and I'm about to start attaching the small amount of cladding that goes down here. It looks tiny, <laughs> but uh, it was great. We could use the leftovers to go down the edge. So this is the step piece that he's just trimmed. It's hilarious because we actually chose this piece of wood because we really like that there, but we're just going to cover it anyway, which we it just... It just doesn't look right silly. when it's all cladded. No, it looks true. much better if it's so all that, the same. That'll go there, and then this will go on there. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, and it fits like a glove. <laughs> it's like it was planned. It's like, it is like it was planned. That is the face of a man who's happy. Stoked! So here it is, guys. The side cladding is on. The whole thing is done, rustic and wonderful, absolutely in love with it. And look what we've got here. We've got one of our poo buckets. This is going to be our composting bin, composting toilet bin. Obviously, we're going to clad around it, have a nice seat on there and everything. But that's basically one of two bins that we've got to deposit into. So we're excited with it. And we hope you guys are excited with following along the journey as well. We are so happy with how it's turning out. It's literally unfolding before our very eyes exactly how we imagined it would be and we cannot wait to share the finished product with you guys. It's going to be very, very exciting. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, 
Today we have been sponsored by Squarespace for today's video. If you're not too sure what Squarespace is, that's where we have our website. Our website is absolutely amazing, if I do say so myself. It's incredibly easy to design a website on Squarespace. You don't need any experience whatsoever with designing a website at all because you can drag and drop, use templates, modify it however you want. It's incredibly simple and the end result is really nice and looking professional. So if you want to try out Squarespace, just head over over to squarespace.com slash indie projects for a two week free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So thank you very much guys for joining in today's video, really enjoying sharing everything with you all and we can't wait to share some more with you in the next videos. So see you soon, bye! Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.